As we speak, uh, refugees continue to escape conflict and arrive in neighboring countries, but also in Europe. The numbers of refugees continue to rise outside and inside Europe. Therefore, we must be ready to help those in need. <coughs> I want to emphasize once again, this is our historical obligation. This is our moral duty to deal with this unprecedented crisis. Of course, and I fully realize, I fully recognize that uh, these days are truly extraordinary times <coughs> and demanding extraordinary actions. Did anybody think a year ago that we would establish an instrument for emissary assistance within Europe? No. But now we did, unfortunately. And why now? For two main reasons. Firstly, because we all can see that the situation is getting worse day by day. Since the beginning of the crisis, some member states have struggled to face these humanitarian challenges with the needs getting bigger. However, <coughs> these efforts, unfortunately, are not enough. The situation has become even more difficult since the flow of irregular migrants along the Western Balkan route has effectively stopped. This is the reality. Two weeks ago, the number of refugees stranded in Greece were more or less 15,000. Today, this number is more than 45,000. Commissioner Stylianidis, thank you very much for your time. Um, obviously, it's a big day. A big decision has been made concerning the new instrument. Now, this new instrument, as far as I understand, is going to have 300 million invested this year, 200 million the following year, and 200 million the year after that. It's an interesting time for such a huge investment in refugee coordination and uh, migration. Do you feel that this will go down well with the people of the European Union? I'm sure because... Uh Maybe you know that uh, European citizens always support the humanitarian aid as uh, a moral obligation for the Europe as a whole and for the European history. This is why I strongly believe that European citizens support any humanitarian action, any humanitarian activities from their institutions. At the same time, I would like to clarified that uh, this uh, money, 300 million for the current year, is not only European money which will provide as assistance for member states or other countries in order to deal with this unprecedented crisis. Migration fund, structural fund, Solidarity Fund, Social Cohesion Fund are available for any member state in order to be utilized for this specific objective and goal to dealing with this uh, president crisis. This is why I strongly believe that regardless of many different approaches, we have to focus on common European policy on common European solutions. No one can alone deal with this crisis. It's illusion. This is why I strongly believe it's needed to see together, hand in hand, all of us in order to face, to deal with this crisis. There is only one solution, the common European solution. Otherwise, we will lose all together 
or who will achieve all of us together.